We now have a special guest joining us tonight. He played in the NBA and the NBL. He's now a part owner of the South East Melbourne Phoenix. Josh Childress is standing by with Kane Copes and Gazy. Thanks, Nat. Well, the NBL has been fortunate to have some superstars come over from the United States and play in the NBL, and former NBA players as that. But uh, one of the great ones has been Josh Childress. He played in the NBA, spent some time in Europe, and, uh, of course, came over here with the Sydney Kings and came very, very close to winning a title with the Adelaide 36ers. Josh, thanks for joining us. Daisy, thanks for having me. I appreciate you all. Hey, now, Josh, do you remember a meeting with me and Gazy in Vegas? Of course he does. We were trying to get you to come to Sydney. Do you remember that meeting? <laughs> I do remember that meeting. Now, look, I do remember I, I want to thank you for not coming because we still would have been stuck in Sydney had you come, bro. That, hey, what do you mean? If he had said yes, we wouldn't be here. Uh, hey, I'm happy we're here. We'd still be coaching. We might have a ring or something. <laughs> no, but, Josh, it was, uh, it was a fun time. And you, your time in the NBL, it was relatively brief, but uh, uh, what did you make of your career in the NBL? Uh, it was a great time here. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I didn't have uh, a ton of time on the court as I had some injuries that I dealt with. But, um, you know, the league has, has grown tremendously over the years. And uh, I'm still excited, as excited as ever, to see the growth and see, you know, what, what the league has done. So uh, happy that I was able to play here, uh, but also happy that I'm still a part of the league. Uh, Josh, you mentioned you're still a part of the league and now you're a part of the South East Melbourne Phoenix ownership group. You're in Brisbane right now for the game tonight. Uh, what is your role with the team and initially, uh, why was this adventure you wanted to get involved with? Uh, so my role uh, is a little all over the place. I help <laughs> with, uh, with recruiting a little bit, um, obviously help with any sort of scouting. Uh, and then outside of that, I'm, I'm just around. I'm, I'm here to provide advice to the players, uh, to the coaching staff, to the ownership group. And the reason I got in was it, it's all my friends. You know, when you, you look at the majority owner and Romy, uh, Al Harrington, Zach Randolph, uh, John Wall, these are all guys that I, I know I played against, played with, uh, and it's just a fantastic group of guys to be around. So, um, you know, it's, it's more than just the team. It's about the bond and the relationship that we have. And, Josh, it wasn't that long ago that you were actually uh, playing in the NBL. Have you seen uh, any significant changes since you were last in the league? I think the, the level of play has increased and it was it was at a high level then. So I'm, I'm excited. I think that, you know, guys are, are understanding that this is a, a step stone and a pathway to the NBA. And, uh, you know, more and more talented players are coming out. I mean, and that's a big selling point for us and, and our, our organization is, you know, you have a chance to, to go make it to the next level, you know, in the NBA if you come out here and perform. And you see guys like Dwight Howard and Carmelo Anthony stuck over in America looking for a job. How would those guys do here in Australia? Be honest, bro. Come on, be honest. <laughs> you know, you know I, I think they would do well. I mean, I, I actually, I, I texted Dwight when I saw he signed in Taiwan. I said, why, why don't you come to, to our team? But, uh, no, I think, I think those guys would do well, and they would understand that, you know, NBA scouts are, un, are very much aware that this league is, is, is a great league. And, you know, you can play here. It translates well into the NBA. And so for, for guys like that, I think it's a fantastic idea and opportunity. The next guy I would love to see, and I reached out to him, is Isaiah Thomas. Come over here and try Ooh, and, yeah. you know, rekindle his 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 uh, his career in, in Australia and potentially get a look in the NBA. So guys like that who are obviously very talented just need, you know, people to see them play again uh, are, are perfect for this league in addition to, you know, the younger guys here that, that have, uh, you know, come in and, and done well. Now, you also played alongside Mitch Creek as well back in your time in Adelaide. How have you seen his career progress over the last few years? Because uh, we're just coming off a few days ago, a 46-point performance down in Taralgon yeah. that people have been talking about all week. Uh, Mitch has, has grown tremendously. I, I remember when he played in Adelaide um, when I was in Sydney, you know, and I, I gave him some buckets. <laughs> and just so to see his progression, <laughs> see his progression over the years is, is, is great. Um, obviously, one of the hardest-working guys in the league. And I was just out there watching him now. And, and you know, he's, he's probably the most in-shape player in the league, and that's a big part of his success. Uh, but, you know, he's playing at a really high level, uh, MVP caliber level, and he's, he's carrying our team. Uh, so, unfortunately, the Phoenix have got a few injuries at the moment. So, you, you're down here this week. So, you said you used to be able to give Mitch buckets. Have you had to jump into practice and give him buckets again this week? Uh, maybe next week. Uh, I don't know if it was a, if it was a sign or a, a little bit of a, 
a joke, but uh, I received a singlet at my hotel today with two <laughs> in the back, so maybe I might need to suit up, uh, you know, next week. Well, I love the fact that you've got your Australiani, that you actually called it a singlet. Well done, yes. you. <laughs> hey, Josh, now that you, you're part of the ownership group and you look at the league and we all acknowledge what Larry Kesselman has done, but if you were the grand poobah of the league, you were the <laughs> almighty power, what's, is there anything you'd see in our league that uh, you believe could advance it even further? Uh, I think more collaboration with the NBA, uh, you know, potentially uh, bringing them in as a partner uh, and just bringing, bringing more ideas, more sponsorship, uh, you know, making it a, more of a global league. Uh, obviously, you know, the connectivity to China that we have was so key, has been fantastic. But, you know, expanding beyond, um, you know, Australia into a more global, um, you know, type environment and business is the best way I can see to grow the league. And I'm sure that they have that, um, you know, that idea as well. But that's... That's where it's at. I mean, the NBA has expanded into now Africa and, you know, and China and, and other, other continents, and the NBL needs to do the same. And you mentioned uh, one of the high-profile owners is uh, John Wall. Now, uh, what is his role, and is it something that you'd see other current NBA players uh, interested in, in getting involved? Oh, yeah. I, I get calls all the time, guys asking about the league, asking how they can get involved. Um, you know, it, it's fantastic to transition from – you know, playing in, in the leagues or, you know, in, in a league and then, you know, being able to be a part of an ownership group. Um, you know, and John is similar to me. He helps with recruiting, helps with scouting, uh, you know, and just provides insight. I think that um, at, at Romy's house in, in, in uh, Santa Monica, we, we host some workouts for players, uh, you know, and we're, we're having um, LeBron is coming work out there. So we're we're trying to trying to get his son. Wow. If we can if we can make something happen. But, you know, just just doing stuff like that, leveraging our network and our relationships to wow help people understand that this is a, a fantastic opportunity to play and grow as a player. And, you know, you mentioned LeBron's son. Is, is, he, uh, is he one of the targets of the Phoenix? <laughs> Can we get him out here? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> now, Josh, we'll what, what are you doing outside of basketball? I hear you, you're you involved in a, a group called TPG. Is that right? Yeah, so TPG is our partner. Uh, I started a, a, a real estate investment firm and a sports investment firm, um, you know, right after retirement. And so we're investing in, you know, apartment buildings in the U.S. Uh, we just bought a piece of the X Games, which is the action sports platform, and looking to continue to expand our horizons, you know, as, as investors and as a firm. And, um, you know, leveraging the sports component is a big part of that, as that's, you know, 15 years of my, my life. So, um, you know, looking forward to growing, growing my company and hopefully doing more business here in Australia. Sounds like yeah, things are ticking over very nicely for Josh Trill. Sounds, like uh, sounds like you're in the money, brother. You are in the money. and building buildings. This is uh, some incredible stuff. Hey, uh, before we let you go, when you're out here, you're renowned for your shoe collection. You used to have a big shoe collection. Now that you're, you're maturing, is that still part? you still have the, the you into your shoes? No, sad. I retired from that. I've, I'm, uh, I'm trying to collect investment opportunities now. So, uh, Ship them our way, the bro. We wear your size. We wear the same size you wear. I don't care if they are too big. I'll put something in the toe. In the toe. Well, I just wanted to know whether the, whether the gazes oh, here we go, here whether we go. the gazes would feature in the Josh Childress shoe collection. I was oh, hoping I, I might make the cut. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't roll <laughs> with you. No, no. But, uh, Sounds like a no. That's no. a no. He can't roll with him. Oh, that's a kick in the guts. Hey, uh, hey Josh, Merry Christmas to you. We uh, love having you back here in Australia and we thank you for your contribution to the Phoenix and the NBL and uh, we hope to see you around and uh, continue to involve for many, many years to come. Absolutely. I appreciate you guys. Happy holidays to you all. Hope to see you, uh, you know, in my couple weeks here in the country and uh, uh, happy and, and thankful for all you guys do for the game. Mm -hmm. So uh, keep doing it. The, 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 the country needs it and, and the league needs it.